Bruce Cosmos succeeded in what Tom Cruise and the porn site Pornhub failed to do. Film a movie in space. The challenge by Klim Shipinko appeared on the screens, in which Yulia Perisold flies into low Earth orbit. But was it really necessary? Yevgeny Tkachev thinks not. Cosmonaut Oleg Bogdanov, Oleg Novitsky, is seriously injured in open space as a result of a collision with satellite debris. He needs urgent medical attention, but he will not survive the return to Earth, so the Mission Control Center decides to send a surgeon to the IS, who could perform the operation under experimental conditions. The most likely candidate is Dr. Vladislav Nikolaev Miloshpikovich, but flight director Volin Vladimir Mashkov decides to send his colleague Evgenia Believer Yulia Perisold, who, after the death of her husband, Mikhail Troinik, in a car accident, is raising her troubled daughter, Varvara Volodina, alone, and worries about her sickly mother, Elena Valishkina. Zhenya is not eager to fly into space, but where to go? Cosmonauts Anton Shkapalov and Pite Dubov will assist her in the operation. When at Kinetiv 2009 against the backdrop of art house dramas of the new Russian wave, they showed a delightfully bad movie by Klim Shipenko, Tarantinoid, with the Sergio Leonian name The Unforgiven Comma, the impression was that finally, a director has appeared in Russia who does not yet know how, but really wants to make genre films, and according to all the laws of Hollywood storytelling, it was not for nothing that he studied cinematic art in Los Angeles. All these 14 years, Shipenko honed his skills and progressed right before our eyes. I tried myself in Minfic Thrill left parenthesis who am I? Right parenthesis success story of our social network left parenthesis how to raise a million. Confessions edit broad right parenthesis romantic comedy left parenthesis loves does not love right parenthesis and space drama left parenthesis sallied seven right parenthesis until in 2019 he hit the box office with the comedy collop and made his best film at the moment the Korean thriller text in spirit dot. It is all the more offensive to realize that in April 2023, the secular premiere took place on Cosmonautics Day, he released another Cosmodrama, The Challenge, which, unlike The Unforgiven, can be seriously called a bad movie, because that it has all the worst that is characteristic of Russian cinema. Great power pathos, as in Viking and Union of Salvation, comma, shameless advertising integration, as in patrols, comma, imperial feminism, wherever there is a Russian woman, there is an attraction close quote cringe dramaturgy, and a godlessly lengthy three-hour runtime. Yes, the challenge goes about the same as Avatar. The wave water comma, but is it necessary to say that Klim Shipenko is still not James Cameron? The film is full of unjustified repetitions. The director so carefully, like a bird to chicks, choose his idea that the scene of a car accident that claimed the life of the husband of the heroine Perisold will be repeated several times on repeat until even the most inattentive spectator in the gallery reaches what the director wanted to say. Perhaps the producers, including Constantin Ernst, thus wanted to play it safe after the failure of the Union of Salvation, which was blamed, for example, bad comedian, in an intricate plot. But the problem with Sawyer's was not the convoluted plot, but the monstrous slurred editing, which made it unclear what was happening on the screen. Shipinko knows how to edit movies, so after the cunningly arranged text, it is excruciatingly painful to see how in the challenge, he works in a condescendingly intelligible form for the first channel audience, which can be frightened by a complex narrative. Hey, this picture is simple to make everyone melt. No, not everyone will melt. But the main question that arises for the challenge is not even of an artistic, but of an industrial nature. Why was it necessary to fly into space, if now everything can be drawn on Earth? In addition, there are definitely several painted space scenes in the film. Shipenko, in an interview in Evening Ergand, explained the need for flight by the fact that in zero gravity the camera gives out such angles that are difficult to simulate on Earth. I don't know, while watching the challenge, I didn't have the feeling that everything that was shown in it, I had not seen in the cinema before. For example, in the same gravity by Alfonso Curran, which Shipenko does not get tired of quoting with love, because the challenge also talks about how important it is to learn to let go of your loved ones, especially in space. However, it would be unfair to say that there is absolutely nothing to see in the challenge. Shipenko is a skilled director, which is why the film has several masterly staged episodes. Let's say a long scene with Perisold in a centrifuge. Or the whole surgical operation in zero gravity. All this alone is not enough to call the challenge a good film. Because, strictly speaking, this is not a movie, but an exhibition of national achievements, a three-hour promo of Roscosmos. It turns out that to shoot a cool picture about space, it is not necessary to fly into space. This is proved not only by gravity, but also by Shipenkov's Sally at 7.